Greetings everybody. Today we are going to discuss about a project that we have did as a part of Edionet Tech Action program. The name of the project is IntelliFarm Tech. Let us go step by step to understand what actually the project is. Before that, my team members are Kirti Kormili, Jagadek Kesmi, Satyavadan Reddy, and Krishna Sai are my teammates. Our guide is Ramar Boser. We are forever grateful for him for his invaluable guidance. This is the outline of our project. First is the abstract, next problem statement, and that goes on till the conclusion part. And we'll also discuss about the future scope of this project. First, starting with abstract, the intention of our project, the idea that we have got is to help farmers because we saw they were struggling. As we live in a rural area, we understand, we got to know that farmers struggle a lot and we as a technologically advanced people should be able to help farmers in some or the other way. For that, we have come up with this idea of building IntelliFarm Tech. Our aim is to help farmers by using machine learning, GUI, Streamlit, Python, and integrating all these technologies and the advancements that we have, we had a thought of helping farmers through data-driven insights. Not only this, our application helps the farmers to understand what type of fertilizers are best for the given type of crop or the soil or based on the climate as well. And in addition to this, our app is free of cost to use. The problem statement is, as I already stated, to overcome, to make farmers overcome the struggles that they were facing in the current scenarios where the technological advancements are already happening, but not so much in the field of agriculture. Our solution is to build an app using machine learning and to integrate it with GUI and Python to make it user friendly for farmers who are not so educated in normal scenarios. The system architecture is as follows. You can pause this video and go through it for the better understanding. We have three things in our application. First is crop prediction, second fertilizer, and third is soil prediction. There is an option to view data where you can get to know about the data info. The system deployment approach. We Approach the problem statement. We have planned the steps of this project. Next, we have collected the data sets, which is data preparation. Next, we have integrated the machine learning models to the data set. We have trained them and we have tested the models to check their accuracy. We have made this user interface user friendly so that anyone can use irrespective of their educational background. Once the application is done, we have tested it and we have deployed it online. We take continuous feedback and we'll append that feedback in the project to make it better every day. The algorithms that we have used are logistic regression, random forest classifier, scikit-learn, matplotlib, numpy, and pandas are the libraries that we have used in this project. We have deployed our project on Azure, Microsoft Azure, using the virtual machine. In conclusion, this project is a significant step in the in terms of agriculture where we are having technological advancements throughout our world but not so much in agriculture especially in this part of india so our aim is to take this project deep down into the farming rural villages where farmers will be able to understand this user friendly project which i have i'll show you in the next part of this video and they can use this project to make their farming more technological friendly. So that is our main intention. Future scope, this project can be integrated with IoT, which is Internet of Things, where we can give a sample of soil or give a sample of fertilizer so that the machine can understand and tell the farmer that if it is correct to use on this soil or for this crop or not. It sounds a bit imaginary, but yes, with the integration of Internet of Things, we can make things happen. Expansion of insights. 
market access, customization, mobile app development. As of now, we have deployed this project using Streamlit. In the future, we, we are in thought of deploying this project as a mobile application so that people can download it, farmers can download it and use it based on the requirement of them. We have taken references from these websites. We have understood how this project should be done and we are thankful for all these others and we have gone through these uh, reference videos or reference articles and these are really of a good help. This is for the project presentation. Now let's go into the hands-on coding part. So this is our project which we have done using Streamlit and these are the data sets of us. First is crop prediction, second is soil prediction. So soilprediction.py is a machine learning model of soil prediction and predictcrop.py is a machine learning model of crop prediction. This requirements.txt is the requirements or the libraries that we have used in this project which should be downloaded. So once you can open the terminal and you can directly download the requirements from the terminal itself. If you click uh, pip install numpy it will be installed as we have there in a requirements.txt file you can directly give the name of the txt file and the requirements will be installed with a single command pip install dash r requirements.txt will install all these dependencies in your project so main.py is the main folder the requirements the dependencies or the libraries that we have used are numpy pandas Streamlit, as you already know, Pickle, PIL, Cborn, Matplotlib, and Plotly. So, Matplotlib and Plotly are for the visualizations that we have done in the project. So, to run this project, we have a command python m streamlit run main.py. To run a streamlit application, this is the command streamlit run and the file name. So, our main file is the major file where we have integrated the entire project so on clicking enter it will take a couple of minutes and it will run the application so this is running in localhost 8501 and as you can see here the application is up and running as I said, it will take a couple of minutes. It will show the output. Meanwhile, let's go into the code part. So these are the attributes that we have taken from the CSV file. So these are uh, written here. So this from here we have called upon the predict crop which is this file and here we have called the predict soil which is this file soil underscore prediction so this is the code for scatter plot this is for bar plot this is for box plot so this is the code for the background that we have used and this was the image once the code have and running you can understand yes so this was the background image and this was the user interface of our project initially you can open the data info page the data info page is like the home page for our project you can view summary which means the entire data will be visible this is for crop prediction and the same you can do for soil prediction as well the data will be reloaded you can see the column names, data types of the column, the data in the column as well. So these all are the columns that are present in soil prediction data. You can close this and the project will be reloading based on the requests that you are giving. Let's visualize some of the columns in the soil. I have selected the type bar plot and I have selected P column 
to visualize in the bar plot. This is visualized here. Crops and N column. Same goes with predict your soil. It will analyze if the soil is good or not. I am giving the default values and predict your crop. So it is giving the output here. Same for the crop prediction. Visualize crop will visualize the data types. Let's go for scatter plot here for phosphorus. And on x axis, we need to select some other column so that the data will be visualized. It is visualized here. These are the crops that are there, and this is the output. I am giving the default values here as well. The most suitable crop for your field is kidney beans. So, based on all these inputs, the most suitable crop is kidney beans. Let's let's change things here and let's see if what crop will be suitable for the inputs that I am giving here. Increased temperature, increased pH. Rainfall increased. Let's see what will be the output. The most suitable crop for your field is mango. So now let's decrease the rainfall and let's decrease the temperature even more. And let's increase the pH scale. Let's decrease the humidity and increase the nitrogen value. chickpea is the most suitable crop so this user interface is user friendly for farmers just what they have to do is drag the value based on the inputs that they have in their hand this numbers makes everything this numbers make all the difference so just dragging it to an index where they were looking at will give the desired output so this is the project that we have done with an intention to help farmers and in future we'll integrate with internet of things and turn it into a mobile application so that people and farmers will use this project and get benefited from it with this Thank you so much for tuning into our video and for more updates check the description of this video. Thank you so much.